Hey guys, today's video is going to be what supplies you will need for a hamster. So this video is going to be separated into two categories. The first category is optional and then the second category is must-haves. So as you can see, I have two food dishes. One right here is plastic and the other one right here is ceramic. So my favorite hamster food dish right now has lately been the ceramic food dishes because my hamster has a tendency to knock over its food dishes. But the good thing about the plastic food dish is that it does cost less than your average ceramic food dish. Now feeding your hamster out of a food dish is optional. So another choice you have is to scatter feed or just do the average technique of feeding your hamster in a food dish. Now another hamster supply on the optional list are treats. Since treats are very high in sugars and fats, I recommend to just give them a one treat per week. But if you are trying to train your hamster, there are other options than treats that you can use that are much healthier for your hamster. Another option is sunflower seeds because they are not very high in fat or sugars and they are a great reward for your hamster. So now setting aside the treats, we are going to be moving on to the must-have category. So now in the must-have category, I just have two water bottles, one plastic and one glass. Now water bottles are vital because humans need water just as hamsters do too. So as you can see, I just have this blue water bottle and it is smaller than the glass water bottle. And yes, both water bottles are like a normal hamster water bottle where the hamster presses its tongue against the little metal ball to get the water out. So now I just have this Living World hamster water bottle with a carrot inside a fake carrot and it is greater in size um, compared to this smaller plastic water bottle and it is glass and the same type of dispenser as the plastic water bottle so if I were to choose a water bottle I would choose the glass water bottle because of its size and the glass it's less likely to get mold than the plastic is. Another must have is food. Now food is vital in every animal's diet because that is basically what they eat every single day. So um, this right here is just a Vitacraft by the Smart um, hamster food and it has um, a large variety of pellets, seeds, grains, and it just has a little bit of everything. Now, another must-have is a wheel. A wheel is what the hamster runs on to get its exercise. Um, without the wheel, the hamster could get obese, and this is also a boredom breaker. Um, so right here, I just have a comfort wheel, and you always want to make sure that the wheel is running smoothly and it's just running to its best ability. Now a big no-no in the hamster wheel world is um, buying mesh or wire hamster wheels. So buying mesh or hamster wire wheels, um, it can cause bumblefoot in the hamster's feet which is very painful for the hamster and not pleasant at all. Now, wheels can come in many different shapes and sizes, and I just have a blue hamster wheel, and it is a six, in six inch, and it's the perfect size for a Syrian hamster. Now, you don't want to get a hamster um, wheel too small because it can cause your hamster to have back problems if its back is arching on your wheel. Now another supply on the hamster must-have list are toys. 
Now, toys come in various shapes and sizes and different textures. So you can buy hamster toys that um, your hamster can chew, your hamster can crawl through, um, chew and crawl through. You can also make yourself or your hamster could just, it could be all in one. Now you do not have to spend all your money on toys. You can make homemade toys or if you're running low on ideas and you have toys like this and they have a hole in the middle, you can make them into a kebab. Now lastly on the list of must have hamster supplies, here is a little um, hut. Huts are important because, because hamsters are nocturnal and they're going to want some place to go and hide into because it is their natural instinct just in the wild to do that. Now if you have a Syrian hamster you don't want to get a little hamster hut that is too small for your hamster. So here's one right here that is very small for my hamster. So you can also get bigger ones or make your own. So you could also just make your own out of a Kleenex box and cut a little hole through it. So there's many options to those. So yeah guys, I'm going to have to cut this video to an end. And I hoped I helped you learn something more about hamster supplies. So see you guys next time. Bye!